Zebra Herd, welcome back to Mario Kart Tour. Today, I decided it might be the best time to do a spending spree because I need to catch up and get some better characters and better carts and stuff so that we can get a higher ranking, of course, for this week's ranking in the Bowser Jr. Cup. Along with that, they have had some news, which I think we can check out somewhere uh, right here. Uh, well, not that news specifically, but where, 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 where can we find news? Right here, here it is. Um. But they also confirmed that the next ranked cup will be the Mario Cup, which is actually what I'm gonna be doing next episode. So if I can get everything nice and prepped today, that'll just make it all turn out pretty well. So that's gonna be today's focus. We will be spending gems or rubies or whatever they're called, trying to get Peach in her Komodo outfit along with a couple of new characters and costumes would be amazing. And then we can top our score off in the Bowser Jr. Cup so that hopefully we can get even higher in the rankings. Maybe we can get to 23,000 so we can get number one that would be amazing. On top of that, hopefully we can get some other challenges done too. But with that being said, let's get started with the spending spree. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple more rubies and see how it goes. So we now have 227 rubies in total. Just in case you haven't seen the info for this uh, spotlight, it is the peach kimono. Along with it, we have the featured of the quick shawl and the purple oil paper umbrella. So I won't go into it too much more than that because we've already read through all of this before. But yeah, let's get started with it. This should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, like I said, we get some cool characters out of this. We can even take a look at the details, the chances. Of course, there's a high-end spotlight like I just read, but on top of that, there's the high-end Dry Bowser, Metal Mario, Peach and Mario Hakama, which is pretty cool. Out of all the characters, I'm looking to get Peach Mario Hakama, Peach Kimono, which is, you know, to say without, you know, obviously that's what I want to get, get for that, but uh, we also have the super tier stuff, which is gonna be Bowser Jr., Wario, Lakitu, and I think that might be it. Yeah, that's it for all the super tier characters. Only three of them there that I need. And then also, down this way, we have some of the normal tier. Wendy, Roy, Morton, Ludwig, Lemmy, Larry. Actually, I just got Larry. Or maybe, did I? I think I got Larry, yeah. So I'm just looking for the other five. Koopalings, I think that's it. It looks like it, so I'm getting closer to getting all the characters unlocked. Let's keep it moving though. Let's go do our first 10 right here and hope it all turns out well. Okay, so all of those are gonna launch out of the pipe and inside we are gonna get for our first opening of today, we get a Mushmallow, which is a repeat, but it's getting closer to level three. I'm expecting a lot of repeats because that's just sort of how these things happen, but a pretty nice repeat. We get a repeat of the Flame Flyer, which will get it to level two, which of course gives it at times 1.1 to all bonus points earned. Hey, it's something. Next up. Oh, here we go. We get Iggy, which we've gotten before, but at least it's a new character. We get a little bit of an extra point for him. And we get the birthday girl. So, so far, no new things, all duplicates, which sometimes I feel like you gotta like, get the, the ball rolling a little bit. There's our level three for Mushmallow. Um, 1.05 to all bonus points earned and times two bonus points boost, which is really good. The times two is pretty important. And yeah, there we go. We get Morton, who has the giant banana. So that is our third Koopaling member we have unlocked. We now have Iggy, Larry, and Morton. Only four more left to go. Next up, ooh, the, the droplet glider. We do have this. I bought this from the store at some point, I think, yeah. Next up, also have this one, the paper glider, but it does go to level two now, which isn't too bad. And we get Toad, which is gonna be a level up for him. He's a super tier character, so that's pretty cool. Plus 3% chance of starting a frenzy and a times one bonus points boost. All right, seems pretty good. Next up. Hey, here we go, we get Roy. Double bob bombs. Of course, gives you two bob bombs that you can hurl at once, engulf your opponents in a mighty blast. That is four Koopalings. And that is our first roll through everything. So the new things we got, we only got two new things, Morton and Roy. A little lackluster, only two supers there, nothing too crazy, but that's why we're gonna open up another one now. See how this one ends up going. You can only hope for the best. But hopefully we get enough good stuff that gives us good chances uh, for, oh, here we go, come on! There's a star! Oh man, there it is! We get the peach in the kimono. Very cool, it looks like she has the Mushroom Cannon special. So that is the spotlight high-end character. So glad to have gotten that. And we get a Turbo Yoshi, that's a repeat, but hey, it's getting closer to level three, which is pretty big news. And Ludwig, who also has the Dash Ring uh, special, just like Rosalina, so that is five Koopalings, almost have the whole cast. And we get a Koopa Dasher, that's level three for the Koopa Dasher, though, is pretty important. And 
Another Morton. Okay, we're getting a little bit farther with the Mortons with all the repeats and stuff. Oh, a two for one for the pipe launching. We get two stars. Ah, oh, it's a repeat. It's Dry Bowser. But hey, a level up for a high end character is a pretty big deal. It gives a plus 4% chance of starting a frenzy and then times one bonus points boost, which still doesn't make any sense to me. It's, it's the same as it was before. Times one. Anything times one is what it was. Anyways. We get level two or almost level three with that. Hey, it's Larry again. That's cool. I'm still hoping for uh, Lemmy. He's my favorite, but we haven't gotten him yet. Instead, we're getting other repeats. Uh, we got the bob on Parafoil, which is now level three. Plus 10% to combo time is probably one of the most important things, and times two to bonus points boost is amazing. Uh, so getting the level ups can make for a big difference though. So that was already two of them. We still have at least two to go here and hopefully it goes well. I mean, we got two high-end stars thrown in there in one launching. You would hope that that luck would continue. Well, let's see what's going on this time. We get a pipe frame against us, level three for a pipe frame. Not too bad. And a parachute, level three for the parachute. We're getting lots of level ups. Uh, plus 5% to combo time, times two bonus points boost again. So some level ups are better than others depending on the rarity, I think. Uh, we get some extra for our glider and for the bullet blaster, nothing too crazy. Oh, here we go, we get Wendy Koopa. So that means that literally we are just lacking my favorite Koopaling, Lemmy. Uh, we get Toad again. Surprised to get two Toads in one video. And we get a duplicate drop of glider again, but that's gonna be level two. So that's pretty cool for it being a, uh, a rare, I think it's a super. And we get Baby Daisy, wasn't expecting that one. And Larry again, that's level two for Larry. Larry's leveling up. Baby Peach, okay, almost level three. So that was not that good. I mean, we got Wendy, which is great, but not exactly what I was hoping for. So we have enough for two more. Let's get to it, pull for the best. Hope you guys are cheering me on. Ooh, okay, so some of you let me know about this. Is that when the pipe is golden, that means you're going to get something good. Let's see if that's true. Oh man, I'm excited to see what we might get. We get a Koopa Trooper repeat, that's okay. I'm not sure everything will be good, but there's at least like one super good thing in here. Okay, Koopa Dasher. So far, all repeats. Cheap Charger, I've gotten that before apparently, I don't remember that one. And another Drop of Collider, we've been getting all, that a lot today, it was like our third or fourth one. Dry Bones, don't see too many repeats of him. Whoa, the Purple Oil Paper Umbrella, so this is one of the spotlight ones. That's cool to see, because that actually is one of the top tier requirements for some of the tracks. That's nice, but is that gonna be it? We get the Super Blooper Repeat, so that is gonna be level two for that. Not bad, that's one of my higher ranked cars too. And we get Yoshi, that's gonna be level three for Yoshi. Cool. And a Soda Jet repeat, level two. I'm a little bummed out so far. I didn't get as many characters as I was hoping out of this, but we will try again. Right here, we'll fire off 10 more. Hope for the best, come on now. Oh, it's another gold pipe, so I wonder if we're gonna get the spotlight car. That would at least be cool. Come on. We get Ludwig, come on, where's Levy? I gotta complete the Koopalings. We get Parafoil, and Larry, but not Lemmy. Come on, Koopa. Bullet Blaster, we're getting, I feel like we're getting close, but I don't know if it'll be too late. Level four, man, He's. I didn't realize he was level four, that's crazy. Whoa, DK Jumbo. That's gonna give us an extra level up. Baby Peach is becoming level three. We got lots of level ups for baby characters, apparently. Uh, oh, there it is! It is the Quickshaw, which has the Rocket Start Plus. So we now actually have the full high-end uh, spotlight setup, which is amazing, but it's not Lemmy Koopa. I'll tell you that much. And that's everything. Yikes, so I don't have enough rubies to really spend on anything more, so that's a shame, but we will be doing another spending spree in the next spotlight, so stay tuned for that. Look at poor Lemmy, all on his own. I'm so sad. Of course, uh, we have quite a lot going on still, uh, but we still, we didn't get any 
new rare characters there. We didn't get uh, Lakitu, Bowser Jr., or Wario. And we're still looking for Peach at one of these days, right? And then Mario Hakama, which will most definitely be the spotlight character for next week. Um, so definitely I wanna do a showcase video on him. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can keep earning up our coins and eventually I'm sure some of those characters will show up in the shop. Right now it's Morton and Mario who I have both of those characters, so I don't have to worry about that. I think I actually have everything. Well, actually, no, okay, never mind. I thought, I, I guess I, I don't have this. And I don't have the Wario Glider. What about these? I definitely have the, the, yeah, the Mushmallow and the that. So yeah, except for those two things in the bottom, I have everything in the shop. Don't know if I'm gonna really get those because I'd have to spend money on rubies to do the, the coin thing. So oh, we'll see. If I get enough money later on, maybe. It is definitely a bit of a tough thing to earn up that many coins. Anyways, at the least, we should be good for trying some different stuff out. We have some new characters. I don't know if they're gonna be as high ranked. At least now we actually, yeah, we have three slotted characters for some of this. So before we couldn't even get a frenzy on this track. I don't think we could have gotten one on this one either, but now we have Peach Kimono, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, down on this one, we still want Bowser Jr., so that one's gonna be tough. But I might as well try these now and see how they go. So I can either do Morton or Ludwig. Uh, Ludwig's actually level two, so it's probably gonna be a better idea to work on him. Okay, so we'll try that out. I might give him a couple of tickets if we have any. <laughs> he keeps laughing. Uh, we'll, wow, we're really running out of tickets too. I mean, I'm sure the farther we get into the uh, the cups, we'll get more stuff like that, but for right now, pretty demanding. Uh, but I just wanna use these to get up as high as we can. I think if we use another ticket, we'll get up to like upper 400s, which will be better. I'm just trying to get a better score than what I did before, and just work with that, you know? Hope for the best. So yeah, we'll use one more ticket for the guy. I don't wanna use all of my tickets right now. But this at least makes a bit of a difference. So this should get him to 464. Yep. And that's gonna be it for now. That's fine. So I will select him. He'll chuckle one more time. Uh, but we can also use the DK Jumbo, which is also very, very low on points. We have a lot more of these tickets. So I'll use two or three of these. I mean, obviously the carts don't go up as high on points as characters do, but we'll just sort of do what we can with all this. But yeah, definitely thank you guys so much for all of your support throughout this series so far. It really does, you know, help out with being able to do the spending sprees and stuff. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be doing this game for, you never know. Um, I wanna see what the next tour is, because maybe the next tour might even be a, uh, I can only imagine Luigi's gonna be in the next tour, right? It might be like a Halloween themed thing. That's what I'm hoping for, something Luigi's Mansion-like. That would be really fun. If that's the case, I definitely wanna check out that tour and play through that one as much as I can. But then after that, I might sort of trail off this series a little bit, because you know this game's never truly going to end. They're always gonna add more and more, so I don't know. It really depends on how many people are interested. So it looks like I unfortunately don't have the uh, times three glider, but I do have some other stuff. I'm gonna go with this one. We will do 150. And let's see if I can at least beat my old score. If I can get a frenzy or two, definitely I'll be able to make it work. So we'll try this out, hope for the best. But yeah, it's been getting a lot more difficult to get high ranks. There we go. So yeah, let's try it out. I'll definitely have to use that ticket at some point, but not now, not now. <laughs> That's sort of the weird thing about this track is it's very wide open. Oh, almost got a frenzy right there. Oh, come on, that was lame. Um, but it's very, very wide open, which makes it tough to actually earn any kind of combo to begin with. Uh, I guess I'm dodging a train for now. Throw the green shell backwards. There we go. Trying to build that combo. Dry Bones is coming in. But yeah, it's a very tough track to earn a combo on, given the circumstance. Nice, okay. Hopefully somebody runs into that bo b banana and it looks like Dry Bones did. Okay, here we go. This might be the best place for an item. Uh, just because, yeah, we have to go through like a turn or two to even. Oh boy, come on, come on. Ah, times 23 though is pretty good. That's better than any. Uh, oh boy, train's coming in. Uh, but I think that's better than basically any other combo I've gotten on this track. But I don't know if it's gonna end there unless I get a frenzy. That's sort of the thing. It's like, I, I gotta sort of hope for a frenzy. Oh no, oh yikes. Don't pass me Bowser, no. I need to win the race though. Oh thank you, Blue Shell. Looking out for me. Okay, what do we get here? 
A coin frenzy! Okay, perfect timing. I'm going to uh, grab all these. Oh man, it might actually end a little soon, which isn't exactly what I wanted, but that might be a better score than I have gotten before. 7,556, I think so. Let's find out. One thing, my percentage goes way up, 83.3. Bonus points for everybody, of course. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, way better, 1,500 better. So that is definitely gonna jump me up in the rankings, and that's exactly what I was hoping for for today's episode, was to get to the top of this. And use a mushroom, I get a daily challenge done. Not bad, that's another grand star for us. And I can do those other two, hopefully, eventually. And let's see, did I go up any more in the rankings? We did get a challenge done, earn a score of 6,000 or higher using a coupling driver. There we go, two more grand stars for us. I tried to do that in a previous episode, it didn't work out too well. And we get a bingo for 50 coins. Okay. So, what is next? We got Tokyo Blur over this way. This is where I can use Princess Peach and the new cart and the new glider. Very cool, but what I might wanna do, especially for Peach, <laughs> does she say kimono? I think she does, interesting. Um, I have one ticket left, I might as well use it on her. What I've noticed is that the tickets go farther, the higher the tier of the character. So using one ticket on a on a common character and using a ticket on a high-end character, you'll get more points out of it for the, for the high-end character, as far as I've noticed. They also start at a higher base points. So like I think like a normal character might start at 400, but the high-end characters start at 500. So definitely worth keeping in mind. But let's also take a look at this. Also, I don't I don't have any of those tickets, no. Um, so I still have a couple of these, so I definitely wanna use these. Let's see how high I can get this. It looks like I'm gonna get it to like 280 something. I think that's said. And then we'll use another one, get it to over 300. And that'll be much better. Come on. Not bad. So that's 280, and that's where it stops. So we'll do another one, it gets to 304. If we did another one, it would get it to 322, but we'll, we'll keep it at 304. Because my score that I have to beat here isn't too bad from what I remember, it was like 5,000 something again. So I think that we could do this one for sure. Because this was another track where I didn't even have a tiered, a three-tiered character. No, don't choose that one, choose this one. And then same deal with the glider umbrella. Oh, we have a lot of these tickets too, so we'll just use two more. And it looks like it's gonna be the same thing, gets it to 280 something and then 304 for the second ticket, so, and yeah, that'll be good. So we're at least getting things ready to roll for this, and hopefully these are items that can be used in upcoming tracks as well, because that's sort of the problem, right? Is that not only are, are all the carts and characters and gliders from last tour still viable, but sometimes you need a whole new set of stuff, so it's getting really hard to make sure that everything is higher leveled, because we constantly need this huge variety and it just, it's hard to keep up with. And I think they, they do that intentionally so you're encouraged more to spend on the rubies and stuff, which isn't the coolest, in my opinion. But, uh, I mean, what you gonna do? Alrighty, so with this, this should be fine. I do like how we're getting all this, the, like the, the showcased uh, setup here with Kimono Peach and the, the glider and the cart. Like, this is full on the whole showcase set. So it's like we're starting in the very, very far back. That's a little unfortunate. Okay. Come on. For a second I was worried I was doing that too soon because that just sort of seems to be a thing that happens to me a lot in this game, on this track specifically, is that I, I do it too soon. Come on, come on. Oh, we get our special mushroom thing right away, which sometimes can be arguably not the best because it can give your enemies an extra mushroom. Which just isn't very cool. Boom, hit you with the green shell, but it, you also hit me with that banana, so it didn't really balance out very well. Come on, we got a good combo going on, and I could keep it, maybe it's gone. Eh, oh well. Oh, I almost hit somebody with that green shell, that would've been good, but oh well. So I'm not in first place, I didn't cross the finish line in first place, so that's not good. But we're doing pretty good in terms of points already for the first lap, and if we could get a frenzy, oh, hit you with the red shell before you could activate your little flower move, or your heart move, that's what it is. Oh, this card is cool, though. And Peach looks really awesome in the kimono. 
Haven't gone that frenzy yet. Is this gonna be like last race where it happens at the very end where it's not the most useful? Oh, here we go, we get a mushroom frenzy out of all things, but I'm still not gonna finish in first, which is highly unfortunate. But like, I don't like it when I get it at the very end because that means I can't use the full extent of it and build up that combo. So our, our score is 65. We could do way better depending on if we can get a better frenzy, if we can actually finish the race in first. Those kind of things will change that up for the better. Um, but that was still 1,200 points better. We could actually, I'm gonna redo that one. I think we could get better than that uh, for sure. But we landed a hit with the red shell, so that is another daily challenge completed along with it. Yeah, we're in second place now, it tells us right down there. But first, we got a challenge. Raise five cards points to 300 or more. Nice, that gets us two more rubies. Glad to see it. And as you can see here, we are now in second place. So is there a way we can get ourselves up to 22,500? We would have to raise our thing by 3,000 more points. That would be really tough. I don't know if there's really too much more I can do on this track, not really. Yeah, really not really. <laughs> because I still don't just have anything high tiered for this one, so the chances are low. I don't even know if I wanna bother. I think I might just wanna focus on improving Tokyo Blur a little bit, as much as I can really. Uh, I think 150 is fine. I don't think I need to push it to 200. I don't think that'll help me. So let's just see if we can't get any luckier with this one. Well, of course, we've seen this intro, so we can just get past it. But yeah, next episode we'll be playing the Mario Cup, and hopefully we can get a good score there, because that'll be next week's uh, thing anyways. Oh, we started in first this time, opposed to eighth. So that might help a little bit, right? Okay, Baby Peach is right behind me, who seems to be, for whatever reason, why did you drift that way? My nemesis for this track is Baby Peach. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, there's so many versions of Peach in this game now. There are four versions. There's Peach, Baby Peach, uh, Princess Peach. Well, well, did I say that? It was Peach, Baby Peach, uh, Kimono Peach, and Peachette. Okay, here we go. Don't wanna get too distracted. But I did finish the first lap in first. Okay, so I missed his last few though, unfortunately. Um, throw that backwards, throw the banana backwards. Getting some decent points here. Toadette is catching up to me. Come on, come on, ah, the combo's over. Red shell, banana, and red shell, that red shell's actually not gonna hit anybody, darn. And I just, I didn't get another frenzy, it just stinks. I didn't get a single frenzy this race is the hard part, but I still might get a better score. Yeah, that's actually, without it even being a frenzy, I got a better score, which shows you if I can get a good frenzy early on, finish in first place for both laps, I will definitely get a really good score that could boost me up, because that was already a 500 point boost to what I need for my total score. It's tough to do, but man, we're getting close to level 15 as well. Okie doke. Yep, new record, 460-ish points more. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and try it again, though. We're not done. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get first place out. I'm trying, but it's just sort of not panning out for me. Okay, so for this one, just try it again. I might use like the item ticket as soon as I pick up the first set of items, or maybe I could use the item ticket like immediately. Because there is sort of like a corner you gotta go down still before you can even get these items. I didn't really get the best of stuff, but Hey, it's, it's one more chance, right? So I'm gonna go wide on this turn and hopefully they'll catch up to me so I can zoom in, hit them both with the air horn. That was beautiful. That's exactly what I'm hoping for when I use an air horn. <laughs> and that'll be my daily challenge done at the least. So far the combo is really building up. Ah, oh, but I couldn't keep it. Oh well, that's fine. Put that banana there. I don't know if anyone's actually gonna hit that one. I hear them, they're in their bubbles <laughs> trying to catch up to me right now. Come on, frenzy, frenzy, frenzy. Darn, it's just, it's really tough. Okay, can I steal your mushroom? I tried to steal our mushroom there, it didn't work. Oh well, uh, banana. And I get my special again, which once again is fantastic, but hard if you can't hit it. And no frenzy again, two races in a row, I knew I was gonna do that. I hit my own banana, now I won't even finish in first. Oh gosh, blue shell's coming in. But that was still a better score, just by a little bit. But I just, I know for a fact we can do even better. It just, oh man, it's tough. 
91.4%. We're getting closer with that too. Maybe I'll, I'll balance out my luck a little bit. Maybe the game wants me to try a different track. <laughs> so I'll, I'll go back to Calamari Desert, is it? We'll go back there. We will try to get a better score there because I'm pretty sure we could. And we get another grand star for all of our troubles. So at least we're making progress with each round. That's nice. Uh, but back to Calamari Desert. We'll play as Ludwig again. Get that set up. 272. It's like it's not even the best combo. Like, that's sort of the thing. This is a pretty lackluster combo. Like we we could definitely get better stuff down the line. Hopefully next spending spree we'll see that. But at the same time, it won't really matter at that point <laughs> because we'll we'll be moving on to different ranking boards and stuff. But hopefully, you know, next episode we're doing the Mario Cup. Hopefully things go well because it's a ranking cup. Like it won't be as of next episode, but we will come back to it with that context that it will be. Okay, so for this one, I'm not gonna use the extra item until the next lap, I think. I was hoping I could, uh... Nice, okay, I didn't wanna throw that red shell forward, but that's what happened. But once again, it's really hard to build up a combo on this track. Throw that backwards, throw that backwards. Ow, and now it's going well until Bowser's like, yo, let me ruin this. So first and second place racers are both Bowser. That's just splendid, but Bowser hit Bowser with a red shell. Jeez, you'd think he'd be nice to himself, but I guess not. Um, throw that red shell backwards. I wish the red shell would still home, home in on opponents, even if it was thrown backwards, but maybe that'd be a little too overpowered. Come on. I'm hitting people with items, which is great, but Without a frenzy, it only goes so far, but I'll do the super train boost. So it seems like it's actually better to hit the train than it is to not hit the train. Like, who would have guessed that? That doesn't apply in real life. If you see a train, the first thing you should do is stop. Don't try to do a cool jump off of it. I definitely don't advise that one. Oh no, ow. That messed me up. I was starting to build up a combo too. At least I got one of my coins back. Oh man, come on, come on. Banana, put it down there. But once again, no sight of a frenzy. Not good at all. And that's sort of where you just have to try again. Hope that your luck works out because that was definitely not a higher score. Last time I got like a 7,000 something. So I might just keep trying these. Like maybe we could try 200. See how it goes. But we're getting really up there with that at the least. Like that's good to see. Uh, but yeah, maybe we'll try 200. Maybe that would be better. I doubt it, but we'll, we'll try it. <laughs> Especially for this track specifically. It could be what I'm looking for. If I could just find a way to get, like, you know, closer to 8,000 points, that would be good. If I could do that both for this track and for the other track, I think things would go great. And then maybe to finish off today's episode, we will try to get one step closer to uh, doing the third track. Like, we'll, we'll just try it one more time and see how well it goes. Okay, bob on behind me, banana behind me. Or, oh, come on, dude, you're messing all this up. Okay, my combo is still persisting though, somehow. You know what, good enough, good enough. Okay, definitely red shell. Oh, I'm missing the coins, and that's sort of the struggle of 200cc, is that that could just happen. So who's in front right now? Princess Peaches. Throw the green shell behind me. And then I'm going to use this, hope for the best. Still no frenzy. Time 17 combo is one of the better. No, but it just ended, darn. And the triple, out of all things, the triple uh, air horn. And then I'm going to glide like crazy for this uh, as much as I can. It didn't really let me. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, but my combo still isn't the best, so if I could just keep going, just like that. Oh, now the red shell comes in. I'm gonna send a complaint to Nintendo. That was baloney. After all those air horns, then you want to throw a shell at me? That's not fair. Bowser, where'd you come from? What are you talking about? Where, where, what? Where was he? It just shows up. That is so not cool. That was like one of our worst scores of the day. And that had a frenzy and everything. I just don't know if the extra speed really changes much. Super stinky. All right, well, I think I'll try a couple more times with some stuff like I might want to try Tokyo Tour, Tokyo Blur one more time. Because I honestly, no, not wrong thing, wrong thing, I don't want this. I honestly think we could get a way higher score here if the stars align. And we'll do it at 200, just to try that out. 
I don't know if that's gonna be a good idea. But I'm thinking we could get like an eight or 9,000 score here. I really think so. Okay, get a decent boost start. I didn't start in first place this time, but I did pretty good. Okay, oh, for a second, I thought I got a frenzy there. Two mushrooms and a red shell, they look very similar. Uh, oh man, I messed it up there though, unfortunately. Well, did I? Well, no, the frenzy's still going. And then I need to use the extra thing right there. And like I'm building a major combo at the least. But well, it's gonna end right here, darn. Coins, coins, and a banana, but not what I'm looking for again. Once again, Baby Peach is out here to get me. Oh, come on, I was, why? And it gets rid of my items too when you get hit by a lightning, I didn't even get to see what they were. That stinks. I'm in fourth place right now and we're about to end the race. Mushroom, banana, get out of the way! Stop it! That's so not fair. Total baloney. That was an awful score compared to what we could have gotten. That just like was not cool at all. Game just totally beating up on us. Okay, I'm getting tired of it. We are going to, uh, we're gonna move to the third track and see if maybe we'll get a better score. Probably not, but we'll try it because I don't have any top tier character here. My highest score one is 620 from Dry Bowser. My highest rated car is I think 376 right there. Looks like it. So yeah, we'll try that out. I wish it was a higher level. Like I wonder if it's still worth it. Well no, it's, it's, a, it's a level two. That's fine. And then this, it's a level three now. That got a level up since the last time I tried it. We'll try 150 because 200 has not been helping at all. So 150. Give this a go, hope for the best. But yeah, let me know how you guys did in this ranking, what place you were able to get. Looks like I'm gonna get second place, but hey, maybe I can get a fantastic score here somehow without a frenzy. I mean, our base score is really good, 1272. I burped, I'm sorry. Oh boy. I get a double mushroom. Imagine if there was a third mushroom there and it was a frenzy, okay. I gotta stop mentioning it. It's not helping. <laughs> but they're immediately hitting me with stuff, which totally stinks. But I'm hitting them back. Can you stop it? It's like whenever things go well, somebody smacks me and ruins it all. Get some more coins. Oh man, not gonna be able to get that stuff though. So I'm just chilling in fourth place, which isn't exactly where I was hoping to be. Oh, but I get Metal Mario. Ah, Metal Mario, stop it! Ah, oh, you just, you want to just keep me in fourth place, or or even before that. That's all you're interested in. You don't even want to race, you just want to ruin my day. Oh, hit these cones, because that actually adds to our combo. Okay, that's going right for Metal Mario, though. Please and thank you. Ah, <laughs> that was mine? Or no, there's another Dry Bowser, and he's in first place. Of course, he get he's getting the win. Oh my gosh. This is awful. Okay, get out of here. I tried to hit you. Oh, but I hit the puddle and that knocks you out. I actually didn't realize that. Oh, can I steal your Mega Mushroom? No, that'd be so cool if I could. Come on. I'm not even gonna be able to get in the top three here. They're way too far ahead. Way, way, way too far ahead. Oh gosh, these turns are so tough. This is the worst. Look, I wonder what kind of score I could have gotten if I got in first place, but. It's just too late to know for right now. Get more of these cones. These cones are like earning up coins. Another Bowser shell throwing the bob on behind me. I hit Metal Mario and Metal Mario. That feels good. Oh, luckily that didn't hit me. Our score wasn't good again. I feel like I wanna try this one one more time now. I think I could get it, I really do. Like if we got first place here, I think, if we got first place, that would have been my highest score. By a significant amount, by like another thousand points. And that would really help with the ranking. So I definitely, I think I could do it. I just need the game to let me, you know? I mean, it was another, what was it? It was a uh, another dry Bowser that won the race, or at least he got like first or second. So if I could just do that, that'd be great. So we'll try one more time for today, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. I'll be done with that. Next episode, we'll do the Mario Cup. Okay. Oh, I start in front, <laughs> for better or for worse. Got it. 
Okay. Throw that banana backwards. Gives me a nice and high chance of getting something. And then I hit the puddle. It's like, what's up with me? But I'm in second place, it's not too bad. I feel like 150 feels really slow on this track for some reason. Okay, time six right now. Uh, but I'm gonna mess up this turn. This is one of the few tracks you really need to know going into it or you're gonna be running into walls a lot. Oh, I miss Shy Guy. He's, ah, oh, I, I was trying so hard to dodge that darn bob bomb. It just didn't work. That stinks, but somehow we're still in second. Shy Guy did not get hit by that, probably because he got hit by something else. Hit these, hit these for sure. <laughs> just knocked them all over the place. Times 14 combo's not bad. That's all I'm gonna get there. I hit Musician Mario with a banana. Come on, catch up the Shy Guy. I don't know how he's don't going so fast right now. Red Shell, don't wanna hit the puddle. Try to avoid the puddles at all costs. I guess it didn't hit him, he must have had an item. Times seven. Ah, uh, there it goes out. Come on, I'm missing those coins. Okay, we are getting closer to him now. Red shell, and then another red shell if he needs it. Ready, boom. Did that hit him? I don't think it did. Probably should've just kept it, used it as protection. Ah, uh, I messed up that coin, that's fine, that's fine. Not hitting those cones. I feel like, oh, come on! Other Dry Bowser's just jealous. I'm gonna get sort of, ah, oh, come on, no! No, 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 no! Why? Third place, I was gonna say, we're gonna get our highest score yet, though, even if I didn't get the best, like, race. And then this Yoshi's like, yo, I'm gonna ruin your day today, all right? I'm Yoshi, it's what I do. Oh my gosh. That stunk. Just like right, literally as close as it possibly could have been. If we had just won, it would have been a couple hundred extra points. I'm so done, so done. <laughs> Mario Kart is gonna be Mario Kart. I guess I'm just gonna be in second place. Dude, second place isn't that bad. I'm pretty happy about it. It looks like a reward's gonna be 15 rubies, a thousand coins, and two of each tickets. That's at least something, right? But it could have been more. If Yoshi wasn't evil, he is so evil. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Kart Tour. Before you go, be sure to comment Kimono Zebra so you know you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.